Aphasia is a communication disorder where people lose the ability to communicate in a language they were fluent in, often because of stroke. Research has identified the need to design augmentative and alternative communication devices for people with aphasia to support quality of life goals that increase social participation. For example, playing games, dining in a restaurant, or participating in a workplace environment. But this is hard because these settings often require novel and specific language in real time. Through observations, interviews, and prototype testing with people with aphasia, their social partners, and speech-language therapists, we characterize the important but challenging nature of supporting one specific leisure activity, meal ordering in restaurants. Our prototypes integrate different AI technologies, contributing insights into how AI may enhance AAC usage and design. We observed seven people with aphasia during their therapy sessions. We identified the need to design to support more specific speech and language production and to move beyond support for basic communication tasks. We also observed and interviewed four people with aphasia and their family members in restaurants while they ordered meals. We found that some people with aphasia and their family members prepared before dining in unfamiliar restaurants to avoid unexpected situations or the social pressures associated with dining in public. They also rely on images on menus to build conversation, but these images by themselves are not sufficient in dining settings. Speech and text sometimes reveal invisible meal content or other information that allow patrons to make inferences about meals. In addition, meal ordering was collaborative. For example, the person with aphasia could point to images or text on the menu. Their family member would often reply with speech, reading out the content or commenting on it. However, sometimes family members and friends make choices for people with aphasia because they are unable to fully explore the menu. Given these findings, we designed, built, and tested several prototypes, photo search, menu speak, and order eat to support people with aphasia in restaurants. Photo search allows users to take a photo of an object. It captions the object with a phrase in real time. The texts in the phrase are associated with images, and each text image pair can be expanded to reveal more descriptive images. Menu Speak allows its users to take a photo of a printed menu. The text on the menu is recognized and associated with speech and images in real time. Order Eat uses the user's location to retrieve restaurants and menus from the internet. Meal items are associated with images in real time. The user selects meal items into a shopping cart and can investigate meal items to know what ingredients are in them. We tested Order Eat iteratively with one participant, Ben. He was fluent and able to comprehend speech, but unable to read and write text. Order Eat supported Ben to order a meal in an unfamiliar restaurant. He was able to find meal names quickly while making his orders, explore the menu, discover menu items, and initiate conversations about meal items. Given these findings and the increase in kiosks and digital menus, we recommend multimodal menus with speech, images, and text to support people who are neurodivergent. We also recommend tools to explore, manipulate, and customize patrons' orders. And finally, we recommend support for the collaborative use of these devices. In addition, our findings lead us to recommend more research on ways to communicate inaccuracies in AI predictions and multiple modalities as one means to do so. We also identify the tension between providing context with real-life images, multiple images, and so on to support comprehension versus using more concise, clearer images as an area for further research. We recommend designs that augment rather than replace communication for people with aphasia and preserve cultural practices in our design as those might be most important to people with aphasia.